I don't want the flexibility taken away from me. But the reason that I think you're wrong... What if I wanted to give that property back to the business to go and buy another business? Put your money in, it's a tax wrapper. Effectively, you can go and invest in pretty much anything. Yes, I'm not yeah, saying... I'm not not get that. I'm a UK business owner and I don't have a pension. In this video, I'm going to be talking to my accountant and he's going to try and change my mind. They're my accountant. He's a business owner. He's an active business owner as well as being an accountant. So he's actively investing and he's got a lot in pensions and he's been telling me about the tax advantages of it and he's trying to change my mind. And I just think it'd be a really useful conversation for you. If you're a business owner, maybe you're on the same train of thought of me on why I should be doing this. Should you be investing in a pension? Now look, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure you hit the like button. And as we go in through anything that confuses you, hit it in the comments and we'll do our best to answer. Let's go. I actually believe in the philosophy of a pension more than anyone else, sure left for me. I'm sure of it. I started thinking about dying when I was 15, 16, because I lost my mum at a really young age. She had nothing. I thought, God, I've got a pension plan, but I wanted to be my own pension. John, yes. I've got a pension. Yes. Change my mind. You know all my personal affairs as well yeah. as my own accountant. Do you so think I'm wrong? Well, I think I think you're a little bit different to maybe your normal person. I think, I think that's you are, important, isn't it? Probably it's pretty important to clarify, isn't it? That you yeah. obviously see your money and you can make more money from the money that you have in your hand or in your bank yeah. at the moment. Yeah. Where for a lot of people that isn't an option necessarily, is it? Or maybe they haven't got the skill, the same skill set as you to yeah. to do that. I think it's really important that we because I would recommend most people to go out and get a pension. Yeah. Yeah. to invest for their older years. I mean, we're living longer, aren't we? Yes. And we're going to know, eventually we don't want to work forever, do we? But the reason that I think you're wrong is from yeah. a tax point of view. Yeah, so you can't Clearly from a tax point thing. of view. So obviously I'm not giving you pension advice. You know, I'm not allowed to. I'm not, yeah. I'm not regulated to give you pension advice. I'm only talking to you from a tax point of view. But the main things I think you need to think about is the tax saving on putting the money into the pension. Yeah. So for example, you could make a contribution from your company. You could put, say, £40,000 into a pension pot every single year, and you're going to save 19% corporation tax saving on putting that in. Probably not that exciting for you. But what it also does is it gets the money out of your company. So if your company's making so much money that it, it doesn't know what to do with it, it's getting that money out of the company and putting it in your name. Effectively, yeah. it's you taking the money out of a company for a later date, isn't it? What about if your company goes bust in the... It's protected, it's, it's held on yeah. trust, it's in your own name, it's nothing to right, do so with the company. That is advantage, isn't it? Massive advantage. The other thing that you've got to bear in mind is the whole plan is to build up sort of a million pound in your pension pot. It's obviously a lifetime allowance, it's just over a million pound at the moment on pensions. But to build up a million pound in your pension pot, when you then come to an age to draw it down, I think it's currently 57, I don't know, it'll probably be older by the time we get there. But when you get to that age, effectively that million pounds, you can take 25% of it tax free. So you've put the money into it and then currently you can withdraw 25% tax free from that million pounds. That's 250,000 you haven't paid a penny in tax on. And what happens to the other 750? The other 750 you'd currently would probably, you can either buy an annuity from it. Again, this is really financial advice. You can either buy an annuity and you'd get guaranteed income from life and you'd pay tax on it, or you can use something Something called drawdown and effectively you would draw down an amount each, each each month or year and then you'd pay the personal tax on it so if you had no other earnings effectively you could draw the personal allowance each year and you'd get it out tax-free so what other people tell me John, I know people do this they invest in commercial property through a SIP yeah was that, that's a self invest pension pot, something, whatever, yeah. yeah. So they're going to go and buy a commercial property um, and then they get a mortgage for the rest, and then yeah. the pension pot puts the deposit in. Puts the deposit. I think it's 50 50, so yeah. I think you have to put a 50% deposit. Well, I looked deposit. at that and I thought, yeah, but then what if I wanted to give that property back to the business to go and buy another business and be a proper entrepreneur the way I am? That all becomes a bit more tricky, doesn't it? Be hard to borrow against it from a business point of view because it's in your personal name. So yeah. you've taken the money out of the company yeah. and brought it into your personal name, haven't you? The way I would look at it personally is I want to make enough money in my business to do everything I want to do that you're yeah, currently yeah. doing then I want to make a bit more to pay my money into my pension on top yeah. so I see it as another sort of expense that my business has to pay to keep to keep me going in my personal name. The thing is well John I, I just can't help but think someone like me entrepreneurial yeah lots of employees when I sell my business that's still out of everything I've discovered the yeah. most legal most proper tax efficient way of making money yeah. out of everything I've come across. Would you yeah. agree with that? Probably, yeah. Like using entrepreneurs. Yeah, right? entrepreneurs. I know it's only up to a million quid, isn't it? But then even after that, it's only 20%. Yeah. Isn't even if you, it? you know, you're not going to be able to scale something to a hundred million pound sale, but you might be able to scale a business to a hundred million pound sale, yes. but you're not going to be able to scale a pension or anything like that to a hundred million pound because you've only got a million pound lifetime allowance. 
but I feel it should be part of your planning. Yes, I'm not I saying like that. I not, get that. not the complete part, but I'm saying it should be part of it. I mean, I think the but other. If th you're not an entrepreneur and you're not a risk taker, then a pension is definitely a great way of protecting wealth, isn't it? And they're so flexible now as yeah. well. So the fact that you've got, for example, this self invest pension that you talked about, I mean, it's a tax wrapper. You put your money in, it's a tax wrapper. Effectively, you can go and invest in pretty much anything, I believe, now. I mean, we've got clients who I know have invested in. Bitcoin, the dreaded word, yeah, and all yeah. the other stuff, and they've made a lot of money in their pension pots through that through that period. Um, you can invest in shares, you can invest in property. There's lots of things that you can invest in. Again, I believe the pension pot can lend back to a company, so yeah, effectively yeah, it can give a commercial that. loan back. But not to, it, 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 you've got it. It's really safe, isn't it? Yeah, not like it's, it's a, like you would as it's a commercial transaction. Yeah. It's going to be documented properly. Obviously, they've got trustees that are looking over that pension pot, saying that it's working the way it should. So yeah. you, it's not you, you know it's got to be done properly if you're going to put your money in your pension. But to me, it's just a safety net. It's another another thing that I pay into to save to save yeah save a bit of tax on the contributions. That's great. But also, it's another part to my business. You know, I still want to do the investment side of my properties. I still want to make money through my business. But for me, it's just another thing that I pay into. To, which is a tax saving and I'll give you an example as well and maybe not so relevant for you as an example but if you go to a higher rate taxpayer let's have a 45% taxpayer so they're earning 150 grand a year or something like that let's say they put 40,000 into their pension so to put that in they'd actually only have to pay 32,000 pound I believe it is I'm trying to do the maths in my head while I'm talking here they only have to pay 32,000 pound into the pension pot if it's a personal contribution and the government would put a tax relief in for 8,000 pounds so that contribution automatically you're getting 8,000 pound extra yeah, money going in that's a huge advantage isn't it then it gets slightly better because then what happens is your um, basic rate band also gets extended by 40,000 so you've got another 40,000 at 20% tax saving on your personal um, tax return so that's another £8,000. So for putting £32,000 in, you're saving £16,000 there or thereabouts on the contribution initially. That is massive, isn't it? So that's a big saving for those people. Maybe that doesn't apply to you, but it's definitely something that we should look at in more detail with you. I know that you're a bit against it. No, um, I'm not. I get it. I get it. I just, I don't want the flexibility taken away from me when I'm growing a business. But, I mean, again, and I think it's a bit better for most people with a steady eddy approach. I'm not. I mean, I'm, John, you know, I'm always doing things, aren't I? And yeah. I'm wor I work cash, I think, a lot harder than most people. Yeah, I'd agree. Yeah, you know, I literally, I'm putting a pound to work harder, than, probably too hard, you know. It's, it's nearly taken me out over the last 15 years or multiple times, but I always just about get through, get you through know. it, yeah. And, 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 you know, I just think it's really different for serially, serially, serious entrepreneurial people think different, act different, behave different. But for most people, I agree with you. I think the only other thing I'd say on there just to consider is the inheritance tax side. Yeah, go on, talk to me about that then. So the pension is held on trust. It's held on trust, it's not yours, it's held on trust till you, you claim it. And effectively, there is an age, I think it's 75, but I'm not giving financial advice, obviously, and I've said that before. If you die before 75, effectively, your pot would pass tax-free to whoever you intend it to be left to. So effectively, you could leave a million pound to your children or whoever it is that you want it to go for yeah, with no tax consequences. That's a million pound cash. There you go. So that was John Holiday. He's my accountant. He makes some guest appearances on my Entrepreneurs University. What's the Entrepreneurs University? Well, this is an online training platform that I've created for business owners to sort of success, find more profits in their business, how to buy businesses, how to build businesses, how to get your business ready for sale and everything in between. You can try it free for 14 days. All you need to do is go to my website, jamesinclair.net, and then you can try the Entrepreneurs University free for 14 days. There's also a link in the video description. Hope you've loved this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you've had, subscribe to the channel. Comment below if there's anything that you need some clarity on. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.